We'll get started. Hey, thanks everyone. And now I've messed up my intro because shut me up. Oh, you call me Shark and You call me Shark because my hair is growing. That's, That's it. okay. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode of Mama's Confidence, where we interview moms and dads making it happen in their community and at home. I think that's my introduction. So <laughs> today we have a wonderful, super duper guest, and I've just been having a ball with her warming up here um, before we got started, before we started recording. Um, if you guys have the opportunity to talk to this lady right here, just she's amazing. She's she is, like put me in awe on the first 20 minutes of <laughs> talking to her. <laughs> So um, this is going to be a good one. You guys want to make sure you uh, stick around for this one, definitely. All right. So, Michelle, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and kind of give your spiel. What is it that you do and who are you? Awesome. Well, did you hit the record button? Hit the record button. It is. Do you not see in the corner it says recording? Oh, all right. All right. All right. So, um, so, so who am I? So for many years, I was the only female African-American public utility owner in the nation. I owned a telephone company in Las Vegas, Nevada. I grew up from 300,000 to 36 million. I lost it all after 9-11. And then I rebuilt back my million dollar business in about five months. And so now um, I ran a couple of books. One was how to build a million dollar business in Las Vegas without the casinos. So that one's all about the telephone company. My second book is called The Million Dollar Equation, and that is how to build a million dollar business in three years or less. It's all the nine steps. And then my latest book that's out is The Million Dollar Equation for Doctors uh, because I got a whole bunch of doctors who called me. So my very first client, and, and this was literally how I knew that I obviously know how to build million dollar businesses, right? Is um, uh, I had built my telephone company, I sold it, and I was just kind of sitting there thinking about, well, what do I want to do next? And I put out an application that you could apply to work with me. And one of them that came through was a doctor and he was begging, I mean, just begging for me to work with him. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And then when I figured out he was an OBGYN, I said, who wakes up in the morning and says, I can't wait to get a pap smear? Okay, yeah, not me. Nobody. So I'm like, no, I can't do that. And he's like, well, please, you know, please, please. So when I started with him, he was at uh, $384,000. Okay. And we built him to $1.2 in nine months. Whoa. And at that point, I said, all right, so if I can help <laughs> sell a gynecologist, right? Exactly. Who else can I help, right? I know how to build a business. Uh, and that's how I built or wrote the million dollar equation. And then now I just have the specific one just for doctors. But, you know, at the at the grand scheme of things now, I help and coach entrepreneurs building their own million dollar businesses. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that say that they are the, uh, you know, six figure sister. And, and I don't know about all that. Um, here's what I know. I just show you what I did. I'll, I'll show you what I did. Now, does it work? Well, yeah. Because I have over 12,000 people that work with me, that follow me, that are in one of my online coaching programs that are either in my membership site, um, all using the million dollar equation and it's working for them. So nice. Yeah. So that's that's what I do. So thank you. And my theme song is Outstanding by Charlie Wilson. There we go. Let's see if we can get it to play. I might be able to. Let's <laughs> <laughs> so, so, see if we can make her dance. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Oh, you're all alone, girl. Oh, totally. um, I really love the way you love me, girl. Remember that? Mm. Yes, I do. I do remember that. I remember that a lot. <laughs> that you really like, takes you me. blow my mind, baby. Ooh. You know what? That is a feel good song. <laughs> she don't even need the song. Of what she's hard. I don't need it. You know, because it, it plays in my head every day. Yeah. Woo. Cause Outstanding. Okay. So outstanding. Look. Oh, Take it down. So now we're having a dance party. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so crazy. All right. All right. Love, 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 right? All right. We got to let it play for a minute and then we'll turn it off. <laughs> That's my boy, Uncle Charlie. Woo! Mm -mm. 
Sometimes you need those moments. All right. So you started this this business. You got it going. You're like getting calls from OBGYNs. They're just like, yeah, you know what? I need to take this to the next level. And you're like, what? Okay. <laughs> so then what next? What happens next? What did yes. you do? Well, well, geez, you know, um, after that, then I said, well, well, maybe I actually do have a system. Okay. Because I wasn't really sure yeah. um, that I thought it, it was a fluke. You know, people will tell you, especially since I was the only and there's not other black women and, and here I was sitting there and I was really young at the time. Okay. Um, well, younger because I'm still young. So younger. Right. That's right. And I couldn't really like figure out like what what I wanted to do and what was going on. And that's when I started just working with entrepreneurs and helping them. So I have um, a guy here locally. We started it was about 80 grand. And last year he did a million six. Um, in less than three years, you know, I mean, it's, it's just, it's applying every single piece of the equation. So there's like nine steps to it. And I go through it um, in the million dollar equation book. But the first one is you've got to be solving somebody's problem. You know, wow. you can't just be like, okay, I've got a business out there and people will come to it. They won't. You need okay. to make sure that you can communicate to them that you can solve a problem. Now, the second thing is you got to have a target market. So I ask people all the time, okay, well, what is, what is the target market? So, so she went away, but I'm just going to keep talking just in case uh, she just jumps back in. Um, so what, what is the target market? What is it? You know, who are you talking to? So when I ask entrepreneurs, well, tell me about your customer. Who are they? They'll say everybody. Well, no, they're not everybody. Cause at the end of the day, you can't reach everybody. You don't have enough money to reach everybody. You don't know where everybody is, right? So it's better to figure out, well, where am I going to target this person? And what do they look like? What do they like? What radio? Do they like Charlie Wilson? Do they like singing outstanding? Do they like dancing? What is their thing? So that now we have, number one, um, an opportunity to talk to them in ways that they need to be talked to. And number two, we know where to go find them. Um, after you have target market then you have to schedule your success so the number one problem that I see with entrepreneurs and why they're stagnant in building their own million dollar business is that they haven't scheduled their success they don't know what they're supposed to wake up and do every day so I talk about okay how do you lay out what's supposed to happen and how do you lay out um, what products, what services you provide, when do you provide them? Do you, you know, when should your customer buy from you again? Um, do they buy one time a year? Do they buy five times a year? And with all of those things, if you don't know that, then how are you supposed to create promotions? Can't do it. So the scheduling success is probably one of the biggest problems that I see most entrepreneurs have. Um, the fourth step of the million dollar equation is the FU part. So I am a cusser, huh? but it's not the FU that you think. The FU is in the follow up. What type of follow up do you have? You need a follow up that happens after you meet a prospect. You need a follow up that happens once the prospect goes to your website. And you need a follow up that happens after the customer becomes a customer. So what happens during those particular follow-ups and how do you make sure that you move the prospect from, hi, I just got to know you to now let's exchange money. So hi, Jessica, I just kept talking um, and just waited for you to pop back in. Oh, okay, that was all right. Hey, it gets mad sometimes. It's all right. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm a professional, so I just keep talking. <laughs> 
So it's, it's what is your follow-up? You know, how do you have that? And really the million dollar exactly. equation is a series of systems. It's a series of systems that you need to put together to ensure that you can get paid every single day. And I don't care what type of business that you're in, if you're only getting paid once a week, if you're only getting paid once a month, then you can never leverage it to get to the million dollar level. Um, after that, then we go into, okay, what happens when the customer becomes a customer? You know, how do you keep them for life? How do you get them to come back and buy from you? Uh, the, the next piece of it is a, a, re, um, a reactivation piece. So let's say you haven't done a good job <laughs> at keeping them as a customer, then there's ways in the book that I show you how to go back and get those old customers so that you can you know, have them fall back in love with you and you can start make money from that again. The next peak is a referral system. You know, when I meet entrepreneurs, they all love to tell me, oh, all my business is from referred. And I go, yikes, that that's kind of sucks, right? And they go, no, no, it's great. Because every time I go, all you've told me is that you're not doing a whole lot of business if all your business is referred. And I'm going to tell you why. Because without a system for getting a customer from buying from you and then becoming a raving fan and going out to refer you, you have to have that system in place. And if you don't, then you're going to always, always, always be frustrated or waiting for the phone to ring. Nobody wants to be the one waiting for the phone to ring. And after those three, then we go into probably the, the number one thing that I'm known for. And that is um, back several years ago, uh, I read this story about a chiropractor who was building his million dollar practice. And I wanted to rebuild back my million dollar business because the first one I bought, right? I bought, I grew it. And then I wanted to know, okay, well, how do I start it up? What, what do I need to do? And he said, well, you know, um, I needed 72 customers every single month in order to build my own million dollar practice. And I said, okay, well, how'd you get 72 customers? And he said, well, I didn't know one way to get all 72 of them, but I knew 72 ways to get one. I went, hmm. Okay. That makes a lot of sense to me. So with that, I changed everything and really created my 72 ways, which in the book, I list all 84 ways that I use to get a new customer to come into my business because that's what I needed every month is 85 new customers to come in so that I could build the million dollar business. So the 85 ways chapter is probably one of the favorite ones that folks love um, and they love to, to watch. And then the last piece is um, understanding that there's only three ways to grow a business. And once you get that, then it makes working on the business much easier. So the first way is getting a new customer. Right? So that's what everybody thinks that they need to do. Oh, I just need to go out and get new and get new and get new. Yeah. But actually, there's the second way, which is get your existing customers to come back more often. Right. So if they only buy from you one time a year, remember we talked about that? If they only buy from you one time a year, then that makes it tough. But if they're buying for you from you three and four times a year, then now you can actually put it together and grow very quickly. And then the last way to grow is you get your existing customer to spend more with each transaction. So you do that with cross sales and upsells and down sales and, and whatever, but you get them to, um, and I always, always equate this to when you're going to the grocery store and as you're walking out, you've got all those things in the front, right? You got the gum, you got the magazines, all those impulse purchases. And when you do those, then that helps you, helps you grow quicker because now you've increased the average transaction size. So when you sit there and you look at your business, you need to make sure that you are growing in all three ways. And one, in, in increasing the average transaction size. Uh -huh. And two, in making sure that they come back more often. And that in three, that you're constantly getting new customers. All right. So that, that was my soliloquy. <laughs> Did that give you enough time to get it together, Jessica? Yeah. Thank you. It's great. great um, so yeah, next question here is, so you told us what you kind of came after that. So at what point did you say, you know what, you stepped back and you were like, I could teach you said you, did you say that at all? Is what I jumped out 
did you say you could start teaching it to other people and other businesses or did you have someone kind of inquire once you started helping the other physicians or what happened? Okay. Yeah, actually I, I won a contest. So oh, okay. um, I entered all of his stuff in this contest okay. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, now I'm on stage going, okay, well I did this and I did this and I did this. And the people were like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. So that brought in a flood um, of folks. I wasn't really clear on how to teach. I have to be perfectly honest with you. Okay. Um, because I just did so many things instinctively mm -hmm. um, that I, I'd go, well, how come that didn't work for you? And so I finally realized that I wrote the million dollar equation hindsight. I wrote it after I had done all the things in the business, not concurrently. Yeah. And you know, it takes longer than a week. It takes longer than a month to develop your, your follow-up system so that it works. It takes longer than, you know, six months to get all 85 ways working. You know what I mean? For somebody who's never done it and who's never even um, considered this concept. So since 2010, I've been um, really working on breaking it down in the most minute way i mean it in little tiny baby steps so that you know a person whether it be my 10 year old daughter um or you know somebody else can come in and follow it and go okay i understand what that means right it's by showing lots of examples because I, I you know I'm, I'm just perfectly honest to tell you that yeah in the, in the beginning no um i wasn't very good at it and well let me say this i was good at it but the people that i was attracting were folks who were business novices because they were more attracted with the story that I had lost it all and filed bankruptcy and rebuilt it. Gotcha. Instead of people who were, you know, you've got an existing business that that's churning, that's generating some income mm -hmm. um, and you want to take it to another level. So, you know, can you use the million dollar equation for uh, brand new startups? Absolutely. Uh, uh -huh. Is it harder? Yes. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's 10 times better for someone who has already perfected their, they understand where, where customers coming from, because at that point, then we can, you know, segment, um, we can just add a new segment to their business. So okay. like a, uh, an affluent one, like we did for my client here, uh, we just created, you know, just a, a second segment to his business that made a lot more sense. I was paying him way more money than the old segment. And then, so he was still getting money this way, but then this one came in and was driving things better. Okay. So yeah. then what point in your, um, in your journey here, did you, did, what part did confidence play in all of this? Like just getting started, doing all that good stuff. What part did confidence play in it? <laughs> <laughs> so I just sang outstanding on a lab. To the right? Um, uh, I've always been a pretty confident girl. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have to say it. You know? I that from um, you, but I thought I'd ask the question anyway, because it's a question I ask everyone that's here. Okay. All right. You know, I, I wish I could say that. Oh, I mean, now don't get me wrong. Do I have doubts? Absolutely. And some days I'm like, whoa, really? How am I going to make that work? You know, yeah. I don't know. But I think, um, yeah, I think I've always been a, a, a pretty confident person. And that person that says, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense to me. So excuse me, why are we doing that? And, yeah. and maybe that came from me being just lazy. Cause I was like, yeah, no, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, um, I, I have to say that I was just kind of blessed with that, which, uh -huh. is, which is why I told you before we started recording, before we got on that, um, you know, who I'm a great coach for is if, if, if you kind of lack that, if you don't, if you lack the drive, I'm not the person because I'm only going to give you so much of, okay, you didn't get it done. All right. You know, I'm going to hug you and I'm going to say, I got you girl or guy. You know? yeah. but then I'm going to say, all right, now get off your ass. You know what, you know, what's worse, <laughs> you know what's worse than, than, than not doing something is being broke. Yeah. You know, so I used to tell my employees that they, they'd come in, you know, one, they'd have a fight with her boyfriend and she didn't want to come to work today. And, uh -huh. you, know, you know, I can't go to work. I'm like, really? Oh my gosh. And then what, girl, what'd he say? And so I let her get it all out. And then I'd be like, oh, do you know what's worse than him leaving you? <laughs> what? I said, you not having a job and no money. 
<laughs> well, so, so I'm gonna be empathetic, but maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't work for you. Then, <laughs> well, no, and, I, and I tell people, but it, you know what? What's so great about this book is that you know all those folks that have worked for me are no, now keep it real, keep it real, and, and they tell they tell you they go. Let me tell you something. I if I wouldn't have worked for her. I wouldn't have this job that I have right now. Several, I mean, I grow employees. Several of my my former employees either own their own businesses now, or they have very high ranking positions in other companies where they're basically. Awesome. That's great. That's really good. But I'm very proud of that, you know. But it's also because I don't take no all that. No, uh, uh. You know, I'm talking <laughs> about how many sick days do I have? Zero. <laughs> Zero sick days. When you ain't here, I'm not paying you because I don't make any money when you're not here. So I'm gonna need you to, you know, take some Sudafed or something. Come <laughs> <on> work. <laughs> and they were like, "Wow." Oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I have 52 employees. I can't. No, no, no. You know, at my highest, I had 52. At my lowest, nor you know, now, who I, I don't do that anymore because I don't. Your problems can't be my problem. You know, I'm, a, I'm on a mission and my mission is to make sure that I have a million business owners generating a million dollars a year in revenue. And if I can do that successfully, I can change the world. And I know I can change the world. So if, if you don't want to change the world, what we been sit your ass over there. <laughs> and watch while I do this, right? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so haters, that was a good segue into haters. How do you handle and deal with, or have you had haters either in your family or otherwise? You're laughing, family or otherwise. And then, how did you deal with it? <laughs> so, so haters. Um, okay, in family. So, at my telephone company, the last person to switch was my mama. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Ooh, you don't like to make your bed in the morning. I'm not gonna switch my phone. I need my phone. I can't switch my phone to you." Oh my goodness. You know, God bless her. So until I gave it to her for free, that's when she switched. <laughs> um, so you have to, you know, get to the point where uh -huh. you're going to have haters, but do, do, is that, if that slows you down, then this isn't what you're supposed to do. If haters slow you down or stop you or, you know, everybody, look, everybody, whatever, you can, you don't have to like me. You don't have to like me. Just pay me. As long as you got my money, then I don't have no problem. <laughs> So it's, it's, I am a very likable person, and most folks do. They're like, if you, if you meet them, so they 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 are. Um, I am a polarizing person. Yeah. Personality. Okay. They either go, I love Rochelle. Rochelle's a beast, or they go, mm, 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 no. <laughs> and I'm good either way. I'm good. You know, like when people unsubscribe from my list, I yeah. send them a gift to their house. Thank you. Because you just fooling around anyway. You're not really serious about implementing your million dollar business. Because if you were, you'd still be here with me. I if you were, you'd still be investing because there's a whole bunch of out there. Oh, 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 you just want to be famous. Okay, well, I can't help fame. Because mm -hmm. see, I don't want to be famous because fame doesn't give you money. You know, there's there's a ton of folks out there that are just famous to be famous, but and everything's rented. Yeah, you know, I was I was reading the story of Tisha Campbell and and her husband the other day and how they filed bankruptcy and and i was looking at their debts right and they they had 2016 range rover two of them mm -hmm. y'all not broke well you know you ain't had no money so why would you go leave so your 2011 range rover wouldn't make it yeah, yeah. 2016. <laughs> yeah so, so that's you holding on to to some foolishness yeah, and need to project to the world and what we talked about earlier today. Um, you know, well, let's get professional and do shut up with that. <laughs> you're playing, you're pretending for the world, but then now you file bankruptcy talking about, well, you know, we have all these debts. Well, well, you know, two years you knew two years ago that you ain't had a show in 20 years. Yeah, that new. <laughs> Like, did she just say that? She just said that. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is not shade. This is not shade. This is, I am also, okay, so yeah. I am the money honey, right? So I do all of the financial segments 
for our local Fox 5 News here in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. um, and they ask me all the time, okay, well, what should people worry about? What is this? So, and as an entrepreneur, I think this is a valuable lesson too, is yeah. if you don't learn how to manage your money, mm -hmm. you will never, ever, ever build a million dollar business. And it's because you're going to chase the wrong customer just to get paid. You're going to chase, you're going to take a deal that you shouldn't have took because you need to pay your light bill. Yeah. And, or pay for your new Mercedes. I watch them as soon as they get to about $10,000 a month, which I hate to say this out loud, but it's not that much money. It's not a lot of money. And yeah. I watch them go get a new car talking about, oh, I deserve this. You deserve what? <laughs> <laughs> I worked hard for this. Okay. And then next time you see it, it's missing a hubcap. <laughs> and then one of the lights are out and you go, well, what happened? And ooh, you know, trying to light on a Mercedes ain't like a light on a Camry. You're right. See, because you could afford the payment, but you couldn't afford the maintenance. Yeah. The oil leaking. You could hear that some bitch coming down the street. And you're like, <laughs> but you had to have this, you know? And, and when you take away from the investment dollars in your business, you can never get to where you want to be. No. I mean, I drive a 2011 Lexus. Now it is a Lexus and it looks brand new, but it's 2000, it's five years old. Yeah. You know what I'm, yeah. Saying? I'm not running out buying no car. I mean, I, yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I'm running around in a 19, what is that thing? I think it's older than my daughter. It's a 19. Right. Right. 97, I think it is, yeah. but hey, it fits all the kids and that's like, it'll keep rolling while y'all broke down on the side of the road. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, can't go on vacation, can't do anything. You know, it's like, well, you, you make these choices because what's important to you is, is showing the haters. Right. I'm a show, I'm a, you know, my haters, I'm my motivator. You there dummy. You. you dummy. Okay. Well, you need a hater to motivate you. I don't need anybody to motivate me. That's I right. like money. I like making money. I like depositing money in my bank account. I don't need a hater to motivate me. That's right. That's that's exactly where I'm at. I was like, go ahead. You can look at it and be all alone or whatever. But I'll tell you one thing. Right. I have had no car payments and my insurance is like $10. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, and it's $40. Well, well, now, so I had a Suburban. And my Suburban blew up while I was in an accident and blew up. And so I was like, oh, I don't really want to get a car right now. And da, 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 da. So a friend of mine gave me her 1997 um, Nissan Altima. Oh, yeah. And I rolled that car like it was my Lexus. Okay? <laughs> it had air conditioning in it. It was ice cold. Now, yeah. but some days it would scream at you. It would go, <laughs> I didn't care. So when it did it, we turned up the music. And so me and my daughter would be like, <laughs> But it was free. I rolled that car. I even valet parked that car. I <laughs> no, no, because that's what I said. Haters, if, if I wait for it. Take care of my baby. Take care of my baby. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. My daughter goes to private school. She, no. So the, the funniest is that, you know, at her school, they keep trying to figure out, you know, here's a single mom, you know, the, the kid. I, every day she comes home, she goes, somebody asked me again, what do you do? <laughs> All right, because always, you know, I don't come to school like this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I come uh -huh. with a top knot and some flip <laughs> and a, and a t-shirt and jeans, you know, and they, they can't figure it out. Wow. Figure it out. So I just, so that's a whole nother that's a whole nother show, but I do want to ask you, so how does that feel? How does that make you feel for them to I know for you you probably don't feel anything, but I you know, be honest. You know, we feel a certain way as African-American women when we take our kids. My kids go to a predominantly white school as well. Um, and they drive all nice cars. They're all, you know, and I'm like driving up in my van like, hey, it's all, you know. <laughs> I got five, right? I got five. You got one. I need to take it all five. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but how does it feel for you to be out of that element or to be in that element, I should say, and then have your child go to that school and then have them perceive you to be a certain way when you know you're not? Like, does it stir up anything within you? Is it? No. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very proud of my daughter. I'm very proud of, um, of, of my accomplishments. You know, I'm, I mean, I am. You can, you can see from my office, I got a whole bunch of stuff on the, on the walls and all these, you know, yeah, plaques of, of articles written about me. There's a USA Today. There's an entrepreneur one there. There's a 
the bit, you know, that that's cute. Okay. But I can't deposit none of those things. <laughs> I can't take that to the bank and ask for any money. So I can't deposit feelings. I can't deposit, you know, fans. I don't want fans. I want you to, want to invest in a product or service that I can provide so that we can go and be on the beach together. I heard That's you. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so when, when people are like, oh, my God, Rochelle's here, Rochelle's here, which they do, you know, oh, I go, girl, stop. Come on. Let's, yeah. let, uh, you know, what's happening? Let's do what we got to do so we can get to where we have to go. I don't, you know, I don't come in as Tamar Brax and be, mm -hmm, shade. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I don't get kicked off of shows because I can't play way well, well with others. That, no. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that, that no, I'm, I am very respectful for everybody and I understand everybody's hustle. Not everybody started where I started. Exactly. And, and it, I kind of kind of backed off the um, the revenue side of my business because success to me is being able to do whatever I want when I want it. Mm -hmm. And that is if I want to be at every single one of my daughter's games, ballet, recitals, then that's what I do. So now um, I work nine to three. That's it. That's it. After nine to three, no, you can't reach me. You can't chat with me. You can't, you know, is there an opportunity? No, no, you don't, you don't pay me enough because I want to be there. I want to drop her off every day, which I do. I pick her up every day. I take her to dance. I'm the volleyball mom. So, you know, I'm, I'm at every game. I'm at every practice I'm watching. I'm, I'm being, being present in her life. So that's, that's my priority. And if, if that means that I have to adjust my lifestyle, then that's what I do. I adjust it. So how do you balance? How do you balance it all? Well, I balance by making priorities, you know, and what's important to me. We and, all know that's BS anyway. We all know that doesn't exist, but. <laughs> right, right, that whole balance, I don't, you know, and, and I forgive myself, you know, right? And so I don't, I don't like go down and be like, you know, sometimes she'll say, mom, I can't, no. Mm -hmm. I feel like really I can't believe it yeah no no not today yeah. mommy's gonna let the tv watch her <laughs> you know what yeah I'm gonna sit right here and the tv's gonna watch me <laughs> I might doze, and I might not doze, but that's what I'm gonna do so um I just you know I am a real interesting kind of kind of person I know and I know that I have very odd you know I'm, I am I don't follow the trends. I do what feels good. And if it feels good to me, then I do it again. Good. You no, know, and sometimes feeling good is a chili cheese dog, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So when I like it, then I do it again. And if I don't like it, then I go, okay, I don't want to do that anymore. And so so I, I, I have always been a, a a different kind of chick, a rebel. So do what you like. Is, is that's that's your 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 yes, student. yes, but now, but so, so here's the here's something that people say to me all the time, you know, and and you'll hear them as um we talked about speakers who just give you fluff, right? Yeah. So they'll say, you know, find what you're passionate about. Yeah. Do what you love, and the money will follow. That's a lie. <laughs> what I love to do is eat Mexican food and lay on a beach, and I can't find anybody that will pay me for that yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I like to tell people about building a business is if what you need to do is find what you can do for 40 hours mm -hmm. and then work your ass up for those 40 hours to get it so that it's following the million dollar equation. So that it's, you've got a target market, you're solving somebody's problem, you've scheduled your success, you know what's coming in. Who do we get? Who do we get? Who's coming? Who's there? Which one of yours? Oh no! Oh no! I'm at I'm at my office, but there's someone by our door. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but well, uh, I be here. Oh, I was hoping I got I got to see you know one of your one of your. Friends. Oh no! They're all at school today. My kids are still in school. They're not out for summer as of yet. Oh, okay, two or three more weeks. But no, you'll meet them. We'll we'll talk again. You'll meet them. Um, but so all right, so that's, that's what that's where I am. Yeah, that I love that. I love that. I love the fact that you really put out there and that's what this show kind of embodies is the fact that as moms we still have that other side of us that we you know want to fulfill i know you said it's not your passion per se but i think you're very passionate about business i think you're very very and that comes through when you talk I'm passionate about making money well okay 
then you know what? That's probably it. You're passionate about the money. <laughs> I am. And, and no, you know, I, I mean, I am I passionate? Am I passionate about about you know? He, he, here's here's one of the things that 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 I noticed is okay. every Black History Month, every Women's History Month, I get called. Mm. You know? yeah. Um, and I'm tired of being the only one. I'm not saying that that I don't like teaching in okay. It's like let's make history. Let's let's stop playing, you know, and, and all of this stuff that, you know, I learned, too, that, oh, you should go to college and get a good job. And we've got all these folks. I Literally, I was talking to my nephew and nieces last weekend over the holiday weekend, and they've ended college with, you know, thirty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars worth of college debt. And I'm like, so what you gonna do now? You know, you, you've done all of this, but but how are you supposed to pay that back? So you gotta roll that Corolla, that Toyota Corolla for the rest of your life because you decided to go to a university that was twenty five thousand dollars a year. What the hell is wrong with you? Mm. You know, but but they're sold that dream, and I'm frustrated by that dream. Don't get me wrong. I went to UCLA. I did all that, but the whole time I was there, I was trying to make money. I was like, okay, well, well, who can I be around that can show me how this game is actually played? Not that, oh, I can go be a middle manager and and I can, you know, have that corporate speak that they do, and I don't even know what that is. Is you know the the key performance indicators of the of the opportunities <laughs> and the opportunity costs. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, right. What is that? You know, can you tell me how to get a customer? Uh. <laughs> None of them could. So I don't, you know, I am passionate about <laughs> my ideas because I know that my ideas are a little bit different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to encourage, you know, whether you are single mom, whether you are, you know, a married mom, whether no matter what, that, that you can take care of yourself. You don't have to depend on a job. You don't have to depend on a man. You don't have to depend on anything. That if you want to do this, that you can do this, but you have to make the commitment to the process. You know, you can't get in it and two weeks later see how hard it is and then stop. That's that's I, I get I want to you know jump out of my head when they go well only two people call me. Well, first of all, heaven, don't nobody even know you. Yeah. So that two people call you, you need to be happy about that. Exactly. Be grateful. Be, be grateful. grateful exactly. and know that you know don't despise small beginnings, but y'all all, all want to come in at the manager level. I want to. I'm hiring two people, and I'm like, okay, so how are you gonna pay these two people? <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna do no, that? You I um, took my son's, I wanted to show you, and I know we get off of course, but hey, this whole interview has been, you know, so it's all good. Um, so um, my son- And are they loving it? Are, are y'all still there in the live chat? You know, are you loving I, I think they left, but it's all good. <laughs> We're recording, so it's okay. okay. Um, you know what, I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna try to post this in the Facebook group. Is that okay? Let me ask you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'll see if maybe some of them wanna come on and ask you some questions or something. Um, but yeah, so uh, my son started a a um, a business called the Better Off Clean Guys, our boys, Better Off Clean Boys. So I had them go up and down the street yesterday, and they knocked on everyone's door and said, "Hey, would you pay us eight dollars for the first hour to wash your door, garage doors, wash your car, whatever, clean your yard, whatever?" So we went to the first couple of houses, and this it, it was, I should have recorded it because it was just like classic. They went to the first house. No one opened the door. So they went to another house. So I was like, this is what we go through. Like, seriously, they went to another house. They knocked on the door. The lady opens the door and goes, no, 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 closes it. And they were like, oh. I said, no, you keep going. We have to go. I said, you know what? That's fine. It just wasn't for her. But we're going to go to the next door. So we went to the next door. And then some kids opened the door up. And they're like, huh, what? And I was like, hey, dude, well, maybe you can join them. No, like, you guys can all go around and clean up, right? And the little boy was like, no. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> okay. We go to the next door, same thing. So we go to like three or four more houses. No one's home. We go to the last house. So there's a guy sitting outside on the lawn. And we walk up to him. He's like, hey, how are you doing? And say hello. So I stand at the corner and let them go up to the door. Or not the corner, on the uh, sidewalk. And they go up to him. And he goes, hey, my name's Khalid. We have a, me and my brother started a business. We want to know if we can come and clean anything. And the guy's like, let me see what you got. And he's like looking at it. He's like, okay. He's like, so you would clean up those leaves over there? He's like, yeah. He's like, okay. I'll, I'll hire you guys for a month. 
he's like, how much? Month. Yeah, he's like, how much is a month? He's like, for, I said, $40. He's like, I'm gonna give you your $40 tomorrow. I'm gonna start you off for this month. And I want you to do it every single month. And I actually have a couple of relatives around the corner that need your services as well. <laughs> so they were like, and my son was like, $40. I'm like, I'm sitting there going, <laughs> you know, but I'm like, I'm excited for them, but I'm like 40 bucks, but you know, I'm like, yay, you know, so, but that's what we go through, right? As entrepreneurs, we're like knocking on doors and then we're getting people that are like just completely rude with it. But at the same time, you just got to keep going and keep knocking. You'll eventually find it. So anyway, that was that little story about that. No, but that's, that, that's classic. And not only is it true, it's exactly what happens. But so many people give up after the lady slammed the door. Exactly. It hurts that feelings. Yeah, she slammed the door at me. Oh she my God, she just your face. And I wanted to go punch her because right. <laughs> I right. to look at, you know, but, but at the same time I say, you know what? It's okay. You know, because their faces, you should have seen it. They were like, I told you it wasn't going to work. I said, no, let's yeah. keep it. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, if you're doing this so that everybody will like you, yep. you need to stop now. Yep. Because yep. nobody, they're not going to like you. The people who like you want to be you. And if <laughs> they think that they are you, ah, this is the truth. As as they think they you, are you, hit that. you hit that. Then they go, you know, I, I, I'm a, because, well, anyway, um, you know, I, I mean, I have them all the time. I was going to tell a story, but then I was like, ooh, they'll probably see this. So, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll leave that alone. We'll say that for offline. <laughs> um, but I watch them come in and they'll, well, you know, think that they already know what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. um, and I go, you have no idea. And I'm going to tell you why you don't know what I'm teaching. It's because you're not doing it. Because you're not doing it. Because I always know if they're implementing because they have 10 times more questions. See, when you don't implement, every, everything seems, yeah, 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 because A plus B equals C. It's like the math book, right? At the end of the day, there's a right answer. And they keep waiting for that right answer. But when they're implementing, A plus B doesn't equal C. Sometimes it equals F. But you got to go through C, D, E before you realize that F is a good answer. And it's the right answer. And I'm going to make this happen, right? So I just sit back and laugh. So I know that they're not doing it. I just, uh, oh, that's great. And they always want to post what they're doing in, in my Facebook group. <laughs> I, you know, oh, today and da 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 da. You know, great for you. You know, like you do with your kids. Great for you. But yeah. now let's let's see what happens after you actually implement. Exactly. Yeah. You can keep that customer because you can always, you know, there, there's a there's a gal online that sells a um, a mastermind and she's always got to replace it. You know, every year we've only got two returning. So we've got eight open spots and that's a problem. If you are constantly having to replace a $5,000 mastermind, right? So everybody gets all amazed that she's got a hundred thousand dollar mastermind. I'm like, but every year she has to replace it. What's huh. that? So I have a mastermind that that's 11 years old, 11. And I finally just stopped it. I said, here, take your money back because I'm kind of done. 11 years of the same oh, people. Wow. 11 years because they're getting value. Yeah. Of what I'm giving you, same price, same yeah. price, but I'm giving value. Hey, so if you, if you can give, if you are delivering, it's not just to sell them because anybody can sell a dream. Yeah. Yep. Sell them and keep them. So I can tell you, oh, you're going to be, you're going to make, you know, a million dollars next year. No, yeah. you're not. And I'll tell you, mm, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that none of that's going to happen. Let yeah. me tell you how it works and let me show you that you need to go get. So, yeah, you can go get one or two that might give you five thousand dollars here or three thousand dollars here. But they're not going to give you that whole, you know, they're not going to keep giving it to you because you don't have your systems in place. You're not properly thanking them. You don't do the wowing welcome, which I have in the retention chapter you're not making sure that they are become a brand evangelist for you you don't know how to make them a raving fan you, you don't know how to do those things but you're just out there you can hustle enough and sound smart enough to somebody who's foolish enough to give you the money but you don't know how to deliver on the results so you know i deliver results so i just sit back and get it and just wait and just wait for it not to work for you to come back and ask me again wow 
So, okay. Yeah, was that was that mean? No, 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 I, no. You you're dropping straight knowledge, <laughs> like for real, straight jewels. And you're saying the things you're being. This is why I like you, and this is why you know I was like, yeah, I got to reach out to her because you're disruptive. You're like, you're like, you know what? This is what it is, and I'm gonna cut through all the BS because you hear so many people that are quote unquote online experts, and oh, I'm gonna teach you, and you'll be able to make within a you know within this month or within 30 days, and then you look at like what they're actually doing. You're like, really? You know, like, and then, like you said, they're always replacing. They're always, oh, I still got three more spots or, oh, now I'm coming out with this or, oh, now we're they coming out with new products every quarter. There you go. Because they're trying to think of a, a, of a different thing to sell to those same people. Exactly. And I'm like, okay, you know, I just, I, I literally just let them do whatever. You know, doctors pay me over a hundred grand. Just to come in and and, and and set up their stuff. So wow. it's like, and, and you don't want to invest $27 in one of these? Okay, <laughs> then you're not serious anyway. Then go sit down somewhere. <laughs> no, I just I just want to talk to you. No, no, no. no. You know what? You, you would direct them to your YouTube videos. Go to my YouTube. You can replay it over and over. <laughs> well, and there's 400 of them there. So, exactly. you know, if, if you really, so, so that's why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, and this is what is probably the most frustrating part is why I get so frustrated when they tell me they don't have any money. Mm -hmm. so shut up with that. Shut up with that. You know, really? It's you're just using that as a crutch yeah. because you can find out anything that you want to do on yeah. you. Anything. If you say that I just want to figure out how to build a website, how to build or a brick, you can do that on YouTube if you yeah. sit and watch the video. Mm -hmm. You can. It'll lay it all out. Now, it may not be perfect, but it'll give you enough time and enough stuff going on to yeah. generate some money for you. Yeah. So then you can pay to have somebody. So, you know, I, I want you to do something. I had a guy um, on Facebook came and said, oh, I'm trying to open a telephone business. You know, I know that what you did is be great. Um, you know, when can we schedule a consultation? Well, first of all, you didn't, ask, you didn't have no money, so we can't do that. And secondly, here, why don't we do this first? I list everything that I did in my first book. Here you go. You can just click here and download the book and read it. Yeah. And then we can chat after you read it. Yeah. Really? Really? Nothing. Wow. You didn't have to pay for it. It's free. Wow. 230 pages. And I write double space so that you can write it. <laughs> You know, so it ain't like it's it's woo. It ain't it's work. a miniature workbook, huh? <laughs> you. you know, where, where is it? okay. So here's here's million dollar question, right? Uh -huh. So I mean, literally, so can you see? I mean, yeah. We're not talking about yeah. Okay, woo, you know, I mean, it's in fourteen point. It, it because it's an instructional man. It's yeah. not that I'm just sitting there telling my story. Talk, now I, I am really funny, and I do tell you some funny stories in there. Yeah. But the, most of the time, it's it's to illustrate how one of the one of the theories works right or one of the systems works. so anyway yeah uh, we can we can go on and on about yeah. okay then I'll, I'll, I'll ask my last two questions and i'll let you get back to motherhood and relaxing before yeah. you have work tonight Ooh, um, all right so self-care what do you do to take care of yourself oh well i always get my eyelashes done so you can see them. <laughs> oh pretty yeah i see <laughs> I actually can see them <laughs> flapping around. Right, right, right to the side. So that's that's kind of easy. Got that little butterfly going. Like, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> so that's, um, I'm addicted. <laughs> that's one of those. Um, but I think the, the other thing is that when you make your own schedule, mm -hmm. then you know now, now part of it is I, I call my kid ludicrous because when I move, she moves just like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's with me, you know, if I move, she moves, she has to touch me. just drop a rhyme on my show. <laughs> she, 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 she just drop a rhyme. But it's just the, it's the truth, right? I'm like, what? What? Dang. She's like, oh, okay, so come say hi since you're already here. She busted flows, huh? Right? Okay. I'm going to interview her next because I want to know how she, how you got her to get on you. I've been telling my kids to do a YouTube video for the longest. I want to know how you hey, want to hi. Yeah, I'm what's your name? On there. Oh, Jessica, sorry. I'm uh, Jessica. Jessica. Okay, and your name is? 
seven. Okay, and what grade are you in? Well, fifth. Oh my gosh, yeah, she's going into the fifth grade, yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you going, wait, so are you going to middle school or will you still stay in elementary? Elementary. elementary. One more year? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right, I'll go. Let mommy finish. <laughs> wait, one more question for her. I got a question. Oh, okay, dang, sorry. Come on. Yes. Okay. So, how did you gain the confidence to get on the YouTube and record your own video? From my mom. <laughs> Look, good answer, good answer. <laughs> well, so, so she's been recording videos forever, but I wouldn't let her post them because I'm like, mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. no, we don't, we don't need everybody all of them. Yeah, I get it. Uh, so she likes that, uh, but she's also, you know, danced since she was three, so she's been performing since she's been three. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, and that would probably be one of those things that I would say too is is one of um, where the confidence comes from because I've been performing too since I was two or three. I was always in in um, at the, they have pictures of me during the preschool talent show that I was the MC of the talent show. <laughs> hey, really? I'm like two and a half coming in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So, um, like, so you know, this is this kind of one of those things that I've been doing for for a long time. Um, yeah. So, so for self care, I, I'm pretty stingy with my time, and, and you'll know too that I was like, yeah, no, when, no, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm I, I'm pretty scheduled, and um, I make sure that I, you know, we're we're this summer we're going on, you know, several vacations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I take the time, and 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 here's how you you're able you to meditate. Do Pardon me. You meditate. Do I meditate. I don't meditate, but no. every morning I have what I call my mental armor. Okay. And so, um, I read the Bible every morning. Okay. Um, I get real clear on on who I am and mm -hmm. whose I am, and so yeah. that helps instill confidence in that it doesn't matter what I have in my bank account. It doesn't matter what the scale says. That I'm still. A bad mother. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't say that with the Bible. <laughs> Look, you know, Jesus knows my heart. <laughs> oh, and y'all need to just pray for me because we're all just kind of, you know. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. That, and you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely but I'm going to tell you the best way to make sure that you have self-care. And this okay. is to to set up the systems you know so the million dollar equation my book the million dollar equation is all about a series of systems and mm -hmm. as long as i have those systems going then i can take that time for me i'm not chasing a new customer exactly. my customers come to me i mean you know they fill up whatever they got they tweet at me they they go to my you know my facebook page they they can find me online if not they go to my website they enter the, so they come to me now because I've done enough of the stuff that I'm in so many places that it's, it's kind of easy to find me now. Exactly. Um, and I did that purposefully, you mm -hmm. know, to make sure because I, yeah, I, you know, am I shy? Yeah, a little bit, you know, as far as asking people to pay me money, you know, that, that, that is all often a, hmm, right. Yeah. Um, but when they come and say, you know what, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. I could say, okay, here's what we have for you. You can pick one of these three. Then it makes it 10 times easier. So I find that most moms, you know, have a hard time with their self-care um, and trying to fit that in because they don't have any systems in place. Yeah. So when I look at the laundry, I don't worry about that because I know that that's Thursday nights. You know, so I'm not worried about, oh, I got to get to the laundry. No, you know, that tonight. Right now, I can sit with you, you know, and do this. Nice. So I think if if you if you schedule and have systems, and it makes it ten times easier. So tell me, um, okay, and I'm sorry. Well, I'll ask you one more question, actually, and I'll let I'll let you go. I'll ask you offline. Um, all right. So then, next question: If you have one tip, you kind of really already shared a a bunch. Yeah, of come on, I did a thousand already. <laughs> just one. I want you to pick just one that's like your ultimate, like your 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 super duper, your you know, you just gotta have it tip 
that a mother um, needs in order to start her own business? What would that what would be that one thing that they need? Or if they if they want to just get out there, if they want to go back to school, like, you know, anything. It doesn't have to be necessarily starting a business, but. I'm like, go back to school for what? To get a what? job to pay for the go back to school? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you know, I know you're against school, but what if that's just something they want to, you know, I don't want to put my, you know, what I think on somebody else. So they Right, can. okay. So so I'd say that the, the number one thing is that um, nothing really takes that long. Nothing. Even building a million dollar business, okay? None of that takes so long. What takes so long is you thinking... What do I, what should I do? Asking folks, um, well, well ooh, and all that preparing, nothing really takes that long. So we can tell that I'm an exhausted girl, right? You know, I'm, I'm a little round. Um, and anytime that I get ready to. You're beautiful. You're so pretty. Oh. Don't really worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. See, I, I never said I wasn't you. You know, okay. So let me just stop you right there really quick because, you know, I, I'm going to get tired of you saying, oh, I'm a round girl. You know how I wish I had a, bo a bottom like that. You know, <laughs> <Y 'all pray. laughs> Ooh, Okay. Oh no, you wish you wish you had a little bit more. You know, more. And a lot the more. part of that is is every time that I get ready to say, all right, I'm going to release some of this. Mm -hmm. um, then I go and I get a new outfit. And I get new sneakers and I join a gym and I've done all of these things that have nothing related to me releasing the past. Okay. And I waste all of this time. Now yeah. what would have been totally different if I just got off my bed and walked around the block. There we go. Now I'm, I'm, I'm implementing and I'm, I'm doing something to release it. Okay. And so I watch entrepreneurs do the same thing. Instead of just going and selling a customer, they got to, well, I got to get a website first. You know, the website had to, you know, sit, sit, thinking that that's going to be easier. Well, the website it has done nothing. It hasn't gotten you a customer yet. Okay. Or they'll tell me, well, I need a business card. I can't go meet somebody without a business card. Do you know I've got boxes sitting? I never take a business card. First of all, because the cards you get are 10 times more valuable than the cards you give. You can give out a business card. The person throws it in the trash. So when they give me a card, I know what I'm going to do with the card. I know I'm going to follow up with them. I know I'm going to, you know, I'm going to meet them. I know what's going to happen to the card once they give it to me. So me taking a card is useless, you know, useless. So if they say, well, you know, you don't have a card with you, I'll go, oh my gosh, I just gave out my last one. I tell you what, um, as soon as I get back to my office, I'll send you an email. You'll have all of my information. I go, okay, perfect. Right. Because most of them fall short in their follow-up too. Right. Uh -huh. so you know, key part number four of the million dollar equation is making sure that you have the automated follow up that you're following up from a prospect all the way to after somebody pays you money. That's when the real work starts, too. And then you got to make sure you follow up after that. So if I'm not doing those things and I just give you a business card, then that's nothing. So I would tell any mom, dad, whatever, if you really want to build a million dollar business, you have to start. You, We can pivot. We can do everything once you start. But if you don't start, then we can't do anything. It's like driving a car, right? If you need to turn in the car, you can't turn without it moving. You're sitting there, you're, <laughs> nothing <laughs> happens. But or, if it's moving, yeah. then it's very easy to turn. Exactly. I love it. it. But all that you ready, you know, ready never comes. Perfect mm -hmm. never comes. Mm -hmm. All the structure, I'm just waiting for, you know, the right time. The right time never comes. Actually, the right time was last week and you missed it. <laughs> so opportunities expire. And if you allow them to expire, then you sit there mad at the world and you're mad at yourself. So, it, you know, here's my last thing that I tell everybody. It's how you deal with failure will determine if you ever get to deal with success. So if once you fail, if you knock it on the door and they don't answer and you mad and you're like, okay, you know, forget it. I'm not going to do it. Then you'll never get to that end. Exactly. But you have to get to where failure doesn't mean anything to me. Exactly. I don't care. You can talk. That's why when we talked about haters earlier, you can hate me all you want. Yeah. But you, you know, you can hate that I have money and I have really awesome hair. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I got one more question for you. I'm gonna let you go. We're going. Oh, to you said one more question, 15 minutes. No, I'm joking. No, I'm sorry. But it, you just brought up one that's really good. So you have, let's say you're, you're. So what do you think about partnerships and joint ventures? 
because you haven't spoken on that too much. I so you have, I'm um, gonna give you a scenario. You have a, and I'm gonna give you a scenario I've been in. Um, you have you have someone that you're you're you have a, a business relationship interest in. Yeah. You pitched out to them. You've um, met them. You met them online. You meet them offline. You talk. You're like, yeah, okay. You know, and everybody's like, yeah, everybody's excited. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. And then they drop the ball. So then you reach back out, you reach back out, you reach back out, but you're not getting a response. No, you got the response. Gotcha. You got the response, but you you don't want that to be the response, right? You you want it to be something differently. They're they're not ready. And so here's what I I, I finally, you know, I think partners are for dancing, by the way. Okay. They're not ready for business. Um, And I have partners. I do. I have partners in my online business. I have partners in my offline business. Um, And I have, you know, Folks that we do a joint venture with right now, I'm waiting for an agreement that we've been working on this agreement since January. Mm. Supposed to announce tonight. Tonight. Oh. And I'm waiting. We haven't even signed the agreement yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so obviously that's not gonna happen tonight, right? Yeah. So just say that that you don't have it instead of all this back and forth. And that's my thing. Like just right. say it. Right. So you know, you have your answer. Gotcha. Is yeah. it is it frustrating? Absolutely it's frustrating. Yeah. Because you know, they're not, they're normally not really ready. So when um, I have a, a whole course that I teach on joint ventures and uh, it's called um, OPC secrets, other people's customers. Right. But <laughs> I'll show you like who you want to choose. And, and I have a checklist that you go through, you know, if they don't have at least seven of these items on the checklist, then run away because they're not going to be a great partner for you. And even with that partner, um, the, you know, the first one is the assessment. The second one is finding the great partners. And the third piece is how to get your partner after you sign the deal to actually perform. Oh. Most of them, they don't perform. They'll sign the deal. Just like you said, they get all excited. Yeah, girl, we don't make. Yeah. No, you're going to make because you end up doing all of the work. So who I look to partner with are implementers, the folks that are doing what I'm doing that, that says, what? Okay. And then the next time we talk, we give assignments and we talk again and everybody's got their stuff done. If they yeah. don't, that's my first one. I go, mm, yeah, I think I'm out. Gotcha. <laughs> I think I'm out. You know, thanks so much. I'm so busy. I just don't have time because they're not going to do it. How they are in one way is how they are in every way. So that if they miss appointments, if they don't show up, if they don't do it on time, that's how they live their life. Yeah. And that frustrates me as a mom that only has between nine and three. <laughs> Right. You know right. I, I don't have it. And now the summer, I definitely don't have it because y'all just saw, you know, she's there. She's my, you know, when I move, you move. So yeah. <laughs> you to, you know, if, if you want my undivided attention, then I need it to be scheduled and I need you to perform. So those folks, you know, get mad at me three years later and yeah, you know, nothing I can do because I just did it. I didn't <laughs> worry about them anymore. I just did it. And then they, they want to tell people that was their idea and Girl, bye. Gotcha. You know, if it was your idea, then why didn't you do it? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, so so I'm I'm not here to. I have a lot of friends, um, and I've met a lot of people, and we've done lots of stuff together. Um, and out of especially on an online collaboration, I think there's only been one that it actually worked. Really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I get approached, you know, weekly. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's something for you guys to really keep in mind. That's something for you guys to really keep in mind because we hear so often about joint ventures, about joining together, partnerships, and oh, if you want to do a webinar online, you should join together with someone else. And you heard it from Miss Shaw herself. No. It's it, 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 when I when I came out with my um with million dollar equation, I reached out to so many of the people who had said they wanted to do something together. And so I did a ton of interviews for it and I wrote the emails. I wrote everything. I gave them the tweets. I gave them all you have to do is just plug it into your system and send it out. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hmm. So it's like, okay, you know, okay. Uh, you, you showed me I'm good. That doesn't, that doesn't stop me. It doesn't slow me down either. It just means that that doesn't work. So that's why, you know, I have the 85 ways. And so, you know, there's always another way. I don't want one monkey don't stop no show. 
Exactly. <laughs> do it this way. It doesn't and I'm not I don't have any hate for them. I'm not mad at you. Yeah. You're still good. It's just, you know, this is but when you want me to do it, so I so one of them, here's the best story. Okay. So one of them, um, he's a speaker and so he's from the UK. Nice, nice guy. Um, we met at an event, it was so funny. Um, he spoke before me, and then it was my turn to speak. So you know, normally they're like, Who's this little black girl? Nobody, you know, they don't know me. So I get up, I do my thing. After yeah. he's like the first one in line, I'm like, dude, really? You know, I mentioned the green room. You don't, you don't have to be in a line. I'm just like, asking, do I have another one of the handouts? Because you know, I always like, here's the million dollar equation. Let's go through it. Da, da, da. Mm. Uh, what? So I give him the handout. Um, he comes to town, uh, and I show up in that car I was talking to you about. Yeah. <laughs> so now he thinks that he doesn't need me. Okay, Ooh. so. Million dollar equation is finished, and I reach out to him on Facebook. I ask him, you know, what can we do? Here's the stuff. Here's media kit. I've collected it all. You know, here you was you was riding me for three days. You know, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now you've put me in another box. Oh. Not my problem. So he didn't even reply. Wow. Fast forward 16 months later, his latest book comes out, and he wants me to promote it for him. And on the same email. He replied back to the one where I asked him. No, he didn't. No, he did not. He asked me. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I just laughed. I was like, uh, no. I need no explanation. No. So then I got back at, well, Shell, I don't, I don't understand. You know, this would be a great resource for your list. No, fool. You're just trying to get my list. You don't care that it's a great are you kidding me? I mean, it was just so outrageous. Wow. I giggled till I couldn't giggle anymore. You know, <laughs> it all comes back. And and I don't do those things. I mean, I, I think that even you will say from our first interaction up to today that I've been nothing but gracious. Exactly. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And always, you know, hey, no problem. I'll tell you, you know, if I can do it, if I can't do it, or I'll give you an alternate date, an alternate time. Whatever it is, you know, but that's that's why I always win. Yeah. That's why really where that confidence comes from, because I know that I've never like dogged somebody. I, I give everybody a shot. Okay, you know, you say you can do this, then go do it. And then when you you didn't, when you just read how to do it, and now you're trying to imp Yeah, to go do that. Time to go away. Time to go away. Wow. Well, thank uh, you. So I wonder, much. I wonder if anybody has any questions for me. Um. We have, I think we have everybody just dropped off. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. No worries. Um, yeah, so tell us where we can find you, where we can find your information. I think your, um, oh yeah, my, my post is waiting to be approved and you're in the group. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, this is good. All right, perfect. So, so the easiest way to find me is at RochelleShaw.com, R-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-S-H-A-W.com. Um, there's tons of stuff there for you. There's, there's the nine steps to the million dollar equation. You can just go through, read the entire thing. It is an epistle, but it actually, you know, it's a great synopsis of the book and how it works without even purchasing the book. It's just all there for them. Um, they can always treat me at Rochelle Shaw. Um, my official Facebook page is official Rochelle Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always online. I'm, I'm pretty responsive. Um, if it's not me, then it's either Constance um, or Karen, one of them will make sure that they that they follow up with you and, and figure out a way. But you know, yeah. I'm excited to help whoever I can. Yeah, and you really want if you're ready to build a million dollar business, then I think I'm your girl. If, if you don't, if you if you just playing, if you just want to learn a tactic or something, you know, I want to learn how to use YouTube. Then yeah, I'm not the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Miss Shaw. You have been a wonderful, wonderful guest. And I really need Rochelle, Rochelle, you're letting the gray show. Call me Rochelle. Don't be Miss Shaw. Ooh. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm trying to be respectful. <laughs> oh, I got you, but that makes me feel old and I ain't old. I'm cute. <laughs> All right, Rochelle, then. Um, what was I going to say? Now you're in the muscle came to thought. Oh, I didn't even really have to. That is cool. I really didn't even have to uh, ask you very many questions. You just took it and ran with it. I love that type of guest because you are a teacher. And as much as you say you might have some problems starting off with this, I tell you right now that I don't believe it. <laughs> Seems like teaching is innate within you and you just take it and roll with it. 
Um, so thank you so much for being on Mama's Confidence and Dad's Invited. You guys, if you have any other questions, please do visit her website. And you can also tweet to me at Jaw Speaks or visit our website at thejawresearchinstitute.com. So we wish you wellness in your life and in business. And we'll see you all later. Bye.